quality versus quantity, and the money you make. When it comes to the money you make, the debate between quality and quantity isn't as straightforward as picking one over the other. It's a bit more nuanced. Let's break it down. Quality, the high value work. Imagine you're a craftsman creating bespoke furniture. The quality of your work is paramount. Each piece is a testament to skill, precision, and artistry, and the right customers will pay top dollar for this. It's about carving out a niche where your work isn't just a commodity, it's a statement. In a place like Portland, with its appreciation for the unique and local, a focus on quality can mean a smaller customer base, but higher profit margins per sale. Quantity, the volume game. On the flip side, consider a different scenario, perhaps running a fast food franchise. Here it's all about the number of sales. Margins are razor thin, but the volume is where you make your money. Sell enough $1 cheeseburgers and you're in the black. It's a game of efficiency, process, and managing costs. The balancing act. But here's the hook. You don't always have to choose. In fact, many pivot between the two over the course of their careers or within their businesses. What starts as a high-quality, low-volume endeavor can evolve. Through reputation and systemization, you can sometimes increase your volume without sacrificing the quality that set you apart in the first place. Or conversely, with enough volume, you can invest in the quality aspect, hiring more staff, utilizing better materials, and improving customer service. It's about finding that sweet spot where you don't dilute your brand or your wallet. The personal element. There's also the personal satisfaction to consider. Some find great joy in crafting that one perfect product. Others thrive in the hustle and energy of high volume sales. In Portland, you'll see these dynamics play out across industries, from the microbreweries to the tech startups. Does more money mean better quality of life? A higher income can certainly improve the quality of your life to a point, but it's not strictly a linear relationship. After meeting your basic needs, additional money can offer diminishing returns on happiness. So, is there such a thing as quality money? Sure, if we define quality money as income that you earn from doing something you love or are proud of, something that brings a sense of fulfillment. It doesn't always roar like a river. Sometimes it's a steady drip that fills the bucket. High quantity money, by contrast, is cash that comes from maximizing output and sales. It fills the bank quick, but might not fill the soul as well. Quality versus quantity and income is about balance, personal goals, and the stage of life you find yourself in. In the end, the best type of money is the kind that aligns with your values, supports your lifestyle, and helps you sleep peacefully at night.